Hi guys, this is Miss Whitehurst and I just have a couple tips to help you while you are working on your assessment for Runagate Runagate by Robert Hayden. Um, one thing you'll notice is we are going to annotate this poem just like we would if we were in class as usual. So I have the excerpts from the poem on this left hand side and you are going to include your annotations or your analysis on the right. So it says your task is to annotate each section of the poem and respond to the questions posed at the end. You must write an analysis for each section. Make connections to the Harriet Tubman text and analyze the poem's use of both literal and figurative meaning. Try to write one note for every two to three lines of text. Okay, so you are going to be looking at this poem after you've already listened to the video reading and for every two or three lines you need to write a note to the side. Your note could be um, in the form of a bullet point list. If you click this you can change it however you want. You can go up here and add bullet points. Um, maybe you choose to number the lines and say lines one through three and then write your note. Um, that's totally fine. But your analysis needs to try to relate to the perspective of a slave. Remember, runagate was a term for a runaway slave. So this poem, Runagate, Runagate, is commentary on what it was like to be one of those runaway slaves. And it does deal with Harriet Tubman the same way that our text last week did. So I want you to make sure that you are thinking about this critically, looking at what the poet is doing and trying to make those historical connections that we talked about. Um, again, you can use bullet points over here, you can number by line. The other reason that I wanted to make this video to help you out is we're using a new feature that we haven't used yet on Google Slides and I thought that we might be a little confused. So, just like we would do in class, I need you to highlight the following poetic devices in the poem. So you'll see metaphors, allusions to historical figures or events, alliteration, and rhythm. Okay, so the way that you are going to highlight is a little tricky. You are going to go up here to this line item, and you may need to click the arrow and then click line. Then you will create a line, and if it doesn't happen, it may have deferred back to your pointer. It seems to do that every now and then. But if you create a line, just like that, then you can go up here, change the color. Maybe I was saying that this was alliteration or rhythm. You can change the color, right, if we were changing it to rhythm. And then you can also change the weight. All of these are eight point. You could probably use eight point or four point. Anything less is going to be pretty small. And I would recommend using about four point or eight point while you are highlighting in the text. Okay. Um, this is a different feature for Google Classroom, but it is simple to learn once you just go up here, click line, click line. You'll draw a line, change the color, change the weight to four or eight. And if you don't like where it landed, you can move it around easily. Um, if it's crooked and that bothers you, you can straighten it out or make it more crooked. And if you just say, wait, that was not what I wanted, change the color again, make it what you thought it was, or delete it by clicking the delete button on your keyboard. Okay, so that's how you are going to highlight as you are going through this assignment. You do have each section of the poem to work through. And again, I'm just looking for you to make your best inferences of what this poem is talking about with the Underground Railroad, with Harriet Tubman's efforts, um, with slaves that were escaping captivity, and looking towards freedom. What inference can you make about this text, about what's happening, what the poet is doing? Okay. And then at the very end, you do have some, ana some analysis questions. Sorry, I can't seem to talk today. And you are just going to type your responses in here as usual. 
Okay, so you have five analysis questions. This is your only assignment this week, but you can see it's pretty involved. I want you to give your best effort on this, take your time, try to make your best inferences. If you find something else that you would like to highlight, you are more than welcome to use a different color and add a title up here. There's definitely more. Um, you can also add titles up here, right? Like if you're making your key, there's room on every slide if you want to add something else. Okay, I hope that this is as simple as possible for you and that this tutorial has helped you understand how to highlight using the line item feature. Bye guys, good luck. Email me if you have any questions.